This experiment is not necessary to complete Science 7. If you do not want to purchase the car, feel free to simply watch the experiment instead. Hi, I'm Brittany, and today we're going to be talking about sensors. Robots use sensors to detect what's going on in the world around them, and some robots can sense things that are invisible to us, like infrared light. Infrared light is what we call the wavelengths between red visible light and microwaves. We use infrared light for all kinds of things, from missile sensing, to art analysis, to toys like this one. This car uses an infrared sensor and emitter to detect lines on the surface, and we're going to hack it into a proximity sensing robot. For this experiment, you'll need the following supplies. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a flat head screwdriver, a utility knife, and some electrical tape. The LED sensor and emitter are housed in plastic casings on the bottom of the car. The transparent bulb is the emitter, and the dark one is the sensor. Even with the power turned on, you won't be able to see anything with your eyes, though you may be able to see something with your cell phone camera. Light from the emitter bounces off of nearby objects and into the sensor, causing the motor to turn. Each motor is controlled by the sensor on its side of the car, and you can control which wheel is turning by choosing which sensor to cover. The sensors have a very short range, only about one centimeter, but that's enough for our robot. Use the Phillips head screwdriver to remove the four screws from the bottom of the car. We want our robot to scoot away when it senses something. Since the motors in this car only turn one direction, we'll need to switch them to the opposite sides of the car so the car can drive in reverse. Use the flat head screwdriver to remove the case over the motors and carefully switch them from one side of the car to the other. The car turns on a central wheel and the wheel shaft extends up through a hole in the circuit board. To remove the circuit board, we need to remove any bumps of melted plastic. Use the knife and work carefully to make sure you don't cut wires or scratch the circuit board. Use your screwdriver to remove the three screws from the circuit board. Then, carefully lift the circuit board off of the wheel shaft. You may want to put a piece of electrical tape over the battery connectors to make sure the circuits don't get crossed. And carefully flip the circuit board over and tape it in place with the sensors facing up. Put the cover back over the motors. Our robot is pretty nearsighted. Remember, it can only sense things about one centimeter away, but it does scoot away when it sees my hand. Thanks for watching. We hope you had fun.